let's move into what tools are available within WebEx. Some of the things that are available are the participant tools. And in fact, you can see I have participant tools available right now. You can see that uh, I am the panelist here at the top. And then I have one attendee in the class with me, which is Curtis Brinkerhoff. Using this panel, we can communicate in various ways. Some of the things we can do, if there's a lot of background noise, I can actually mute participants. So if I don't want to hear Curtis anymore, I can click on his name and just hit mute. Now I can speak to him without having feedback come back at me um, in case there's a lot of noise in the background. I'm actually going to unmute you, Curtis. The next thing is you can raise your hand. And Curtis, if you'll practice that for me, it'll show everyone what the feedback, uh, what feedback we get in the screen. Basically, when, we, when Curtis raises his hand, a little fly-up will come up that's showing me that Curtis's hand is raised. And I can see it down in the bottom of my screen, right above my time and date uh, on my computer. It also shows it in the feedback. And if I want to, I can go ahead and erase that feedback to let him know, yes, I saw you raised your hand, and we can talk about what questions he has. That's great because now I won't have people talking over each other. So that's why I really like that. Next thing is a check mark. I often use the check mark option so that I can find out when students are done with their exercises. When I'm face to face with a class, I can walk around the room and see visually when someone is done with their exercise. But I rely on the students quite a bit when I'm teaching over the web to find out when they are done. So I, I simply ask them to put a check mark next to their name, and they click on the check mark, and then I know they're ready to go. We also have a mood indicator to help us know if you're getting it, if you're having a difficult time. Uh, just, you know, since we can't see your face all the time, you can show us uh, by hitting the mood that, uh, of how you're feeling at the moment. So that's the mood indicator. And then, of course, I can erase everyone's feedback as I wish uh, once I've, I've learned what it is I need to from their participation in the participants panel. Okay, some of the other participant tools that we have available is we have polling options. I can actually type in some questions, and they can be multiple choice questions or short answers. And we can go through and find out if you're getting the information that I'm delivering. So. I can come in and say, you know, which of these buttons is how you um, copy objects in AutoCAD. And you can choose the answer, and I, I'll be able to know if you're getting it or not. Next is a question answer panel. If you're muted because the instructor has ha that there's too much background noise in the background, we can use the question answer panel to ask questions to the instructor. And so that's a really nice place to also ask private questions to the instructor so that not everyone in the class has to know what questions you're asking. The next thing is the recorder. In fact, I'm recording this session today so that more people can learn what tools we have available to us. And that will allow more people to see this recording and know how to participate over the web. And the last but not least is the file transfer. Like I said, we can actually share information over the internet. And all I have to do is go up and actually I'll, I'll go to the file menu and transfer files. By doing that, I get this file transfer option. I tell it I want to share a file. I go find the file that I want to share and open it. And then on the student side, this transfer file button will stay open until I close it. And they simply select on the item that I'm sharing and hit download. Then we don't have to use email or an FTP site or anything else like that to get the data that you need to try the exercises. This works great, especially when it's custom classes, because instructors often need to really drive home a point with a very specific data set and so they'll share that data set over the internet through the portal and uh, allow students to try what they have just shown them. There is one other thing that I forgot to mention in this cast is 
The nice thing about web training is it's not just over the web. We can actually interact with the students even more than what I've demonstrated here. Right now, you're seeing a presentation on my screen, but I can actually take control of your screen as well. So, Curtis, if you don't mind, I'm going to allow you to show your screen to everyone, and then I'm going to take control of your screen so that it feels like I'm sitting right there next to you uh, in the class. So I'm just going to change your role to the presenter. And if you could, go ahead and share your desktop with me. What, what you're going to do is go to the Share menu and choose Share Desktop. We'll give it just a second to catch up with me. There we go. I am seeing your Excel document right now. And so to make that even better, let's say you're having a problem with the software, you need me to help you through that. What I'd like you to do, up in the top right hand side of your screen, you should see a sharing button there. I'm just going to go up and request remote control, and now what I want you to do is go up to that sharing button and give me remote control. Great. Now when I click my mouse, I have control of your screen. So if I come in here and I say, well, if you want to bold this column right here, or this cell, you just go to the Home tab and click bold. It's that easy and now that I've shown you how to do that all I have to do is exit the desktop sharing and I can take control again and show you my screen instead. Well thank you for your time and hopefully we'll see you in one of our future web classes.